people aware that this geoengineering, these chemtrails, these, these 43 chemicals coming down on us, three of them are radioactive. When they take off, if, if it's cold up there, it uh, lets off, it's, it's a steam, it's a trail of steam. And it dissipates in seconds, a minute less, you'll see it disappear behind the plane and it's gone, it's just steam. What we're seeing now that we're calling contrails, or chemtrails, I'm sorry, is um, is uh, we see airplanes shooting out, you know, two two clouds of, some, of uh, not something that it looks like steam but isn't because instead of dissipating in a minute or so, it grows into all kinds of shapes. Nano chemtrails will even change the temperature and polarity to improve their seeding effects because nanoparticles can be potentially self-replicating. That is, they can be made to reproduce themselves until programmed to stop. Uh, from swarms, so the weather reports will use real-time updates from swarms of nano-sized smart sensors. Uh, coming swarms of airborne nanobots to optimize wind dispersal patterns for germ warfare or chemtrails. The chemtrails are too, too familiar after a decade-long long dose, continue to inflict eye infections, nosebleeds, skin sores, muscle pain, chronic exhaustion, weak, weakened immunity, acute asthma and allergies, short-term memory, loss and heart attacks. All right, the green, green light has been given to disperse swarms of a wirelessly networked nanobots into the troposphere by remotely controlled UAV drones for global warming mitigation. Well, in the early aughts, the Air Force posted a disclaimer on their website saying that, quote, the chemtrail hoax has been investigated and refuted by many established and accredited universities, scientific organizations, and major media publications. In the study, researchers were asked if they had ever uncovered any possible evidence of a government-run chemtrails operation throughout their study. 76 out of 77 leading atmospheric scientists and geochemists said no. Like weather control. Weather control is one. Well, they don't have any fucking control of the weather because if they did, they'd make it rain all over Santa Barbara and stop these fires. Yeah. And he says no. Chemtrails are not real. The idea of chemtrails is absolutely false. The idea of condensation trails is absolutely true. It's a meteorological meteorological phenomena. Theorists, chemtrails. Followers convinced something evil and secret is going on. Believe the government or some shadow organization deliberately sprays chemicals to control our minds or to alter the weather. Okay, I can hear you now. Why are we wasting time on this? The process is called cloud seeding. How does it actually work? The salt canisters attached to the plane's wings release salt nanoparticles into the clouds. This stimulates and accelerates the condensation process and produces droplets big enough to fall as rain. Utah, where they take planes like this with flares attached, they fly right into the storm and send microscopic particles into the cloud. Um, cloud seeding is something that I studied in school for meteorology, weather modification. Another example is the array of technologies, often referred to collectively as geoengineering that potentially could help reverse the warming effects of global climate change. One that has gained my personal attention is stratospheric aerosol injection. 